Hello and welcome to the last video of this series in this year. Therefore, it's the perfect moment thanking all the nice supporters on Steady and PayPal. You made all these videos possible. And now I can tell you, the mathematical symbol of today is the infinity symbol. It's a symbol that is used throughout mathematics, because it represents the concept of infinity. Of course, then, the specific meaning when it is used depends on the context. Indeed, most of the time it just should remind us that some infinity is at work. For example, if you want to write down the limit of a sequence, you would write limit n goes to infinity. And here in our example, if the sequence is 1 over n, you know the limit is 0. Now, here you should see there is no need to use the symbol infinity here because we know the definition of a limit. However, the symbol is there to tell us that the number n should increase and increase without stopping. So in this case, infinity is not a number we just put into the sequence. Rather, infinity is used in a symbolic way here. In fact, this is often the case, but sometimes we need to calculate with the symbol infinity. And then, of course, it acts more like a number. One important application of this you find in measure theory. Because there, we need to calculate with numbers from 0 to infinity. And 0 and infinity are included in the interval. One short explanation here is that in measure theory, we deal with volumes. And of course, it could happen that the volume is 0, but we also deal with infinite volumes. And then in calculations that occur, we need to add volumes and multiply them. Therefore, we need a meaning for a plus infinity and a times infinity. So let's start with the first one. So a plus infinity should of course be the same as infinity plus a. And now because we see infinity as the largest number in our interval, this should be infinity again. Indeed, this should also hold when a was infinity at the beginning. Or to put it in other words, infinity plus infinity should be infinity again. And there you already see, the only meaningful thing for 2 times infinity is infinity again. In fact, this should be our definition for all numbers a, including infinity. So infinity times infinity is again infinity. However, here one question remains, what to do with 0 times infinity? Usually, for example, when you deal with limits, this expression is not well defined. But in measure theory, it makes sense to define it. Indeed, there 0 times infinity should be 0. This definition makes some formulas in measure theory simpler. Therefore, it's very helpful there. Now, Having these definitions, now you can check that we still have commutative laws, associative laws, and distributive laws. Or in other words, some calculation rules still hold when we deal with infinity in this way. Of course, if you want to know more about measure theory, you can look at my whole series about it. Okay, and with this, I really hope you learned something in this series here. I wish you all the best and see you next time. Bye.